Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people from all over the world, this is G with Studio Athletics. Today I want to talk to you about how fitness information reaches our eyes and ears through YouTube. I was watching a YouTube video from Think Media in regards to the 2024 trends surrounding YouTube. And one of them is high quality content. This is a problem. The best content creators are the ones that are getting the most clicks and getting the benefit of the algorithm. The content creators with the best quality are the ones that are providing us our information. What if it is that the best content creators aren't the best fitness advisors, but because they make the best quality, the algorithm picks them up, they get the most subscribers and the most clicks. What happens if there's a fitness influencer out there that doesn't have a high quality camera like this one right here, or I have a mic, but just has a wealth of knowledge? That person may never reach our ears. I do think that, that YouTube is changing a little bit. If you guys look at your news feed on YouTube, just your regular homepage, You'll see videos that aren't getting millions and thousands of views. Like I'll, I'll have suggested videos that are someone with 30 views and 450 views and things like that, which is probably why you're seeing this video. The algorithm YouTube of YouTube has changed where it's not funneling the most viewed videos to us. I'm not exactly sure how the, these videos are reaching my feed or how this video in particular is reaching your feed, but it is helping the low content creator. My concern is there is people out there that are not being heard and the information they have we need, but they're not reaching our eyes and ears because they don't have the best quality or they don't have capability of video editing. How do we hear from them? Is it just a, the fact of life that on YouTube, you're only going to get information from those who have experience in video editing? So you need to be two things in this world. You need to be a good video editor and content creator. And you also have to have a specific niche knowledge in the subject area. Only then can you deliver your message to the mass people. What are we going to do about this? There's someone out there right now that has the answers you're looking for, but they're not reaching your feed because they don't have a Sony A7C camera and a, and a Yeti blue Yeti microphone with a dent in it. And a, 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 uh, 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 I don't even know what this thing is called. This nifty little thing here. You guys know what it's called. This is, um, Nope, I don't figure out what it's called. It's pretty much falling off. But guess what? It works and it sounds good. What do you guys think? So, sometimes I've been just taking recording videos using my cell phone and uploading with that and no editing whatsoever. I'm also doing no writing either. I don't do any writing in advance. I think of a topic and I just go off the, off the dome. It might not be the best, but it's getting information to the people that need to hear it in a raw format. And this ain't AI, all right? I am not AI. I am a human for now. You know, down the road, if someone offers me a deal where they insert some sort of uh, chip into my brain, you know, I might take that into consideration. For now, there's no chip, just me. So you're getting the raw, unedited version of my thoughts as they pertain to YouTube and fitness. So uh, I don't know if Isometrics has the marketability that YouTube is looking for. But we just need the narrative and the attention on Isometrics. You know, when I first got into high intensity training, nobody knew about it. Now you see Mike Mentzer all over YouTube. So I think that's the that's the natural step. The natural next step is Mike Manser, YouTube, high intensity training to isometrics. 
It's just that that really there's only a couple of people that are the face of isometrics, and Bruce Lee is one of them. Bruce Lee is one of them. So we got that going for us. We got to get someone famous, someone famous to say, hey, I do isometrics and isometrics only, and I love it. I don't know who that's going to be. Um, hmm. Elon Musk, maybe? Joe Rogan? Who's out there? There's going to be someone out there that's going to pick it up and send it to uh, the masses, and we're, we're going to blow up. We're going to blow up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. But for now, we got to talk to YouTube and tell them, yo, YouTube, use AI or something and find the people with the best messages and sell them those to the masses, not the people that have Adobe uh, Premiere Pro and spend 10 hours on a video cutting it up and editing it. Give us the people that got the information and could just could just talk to you live, unedited, uncut, raw info from experience. Okay. I figured I'd get on here and chat a little bit with you guys. Uh, I hope everyone's having a good day. Let's see. It is January 23rd, 2024. We're just floating on a rock in space, you know. And the best thing that we can do to make sure we're prepared for the future is to have a healthy and fit body and to have, have a healthy and fit mind. One way of doing that is isometrics. Do some neck isometrics because it increases blood flow to the brain. More blood flow to the brain, not a neuroscientist, not a brain surgeon. More blood flow to the brain is hopefully going to bring the ingredients it needs to eat and grow and and clear out the negativity. So hit some like neck isometrics. Boom. Boom. I mean, how crazy is that? Like the greatest thing that you could do for your body is literally in your hands. I'm giving myself more attention to my neck right now using this palm than I would if I bought a thousand dollar four way neck machine. It's this thing, this guy right here, and this guy right here. You know, all day long, you people are like, you know, just just hold it and apply pressure. Then, you know, you're always like this. Oh my god, I'm so stressed out. Perfect. Keep your hand there and apply tension. That'll relieve your stress. You know. <clears throat> I'm giving you a lot right now. I'm giving you some 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 psychology. Okay. I'm gonna give you some some a brain I'm a brain doctor here. Okay, I'm 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 a psychiatrist. I'm helping you relieve some stress. I'm giving you some YouTube tips and tricks. What else can I provide to the people? And that's what I'm here for. In the most humble way possible, of course. Uh, I'm just here to uh, connect the dots for us get this thing the hell out of here is this even doing anything hello everybody out there i hope you've had a fine day this is the next content creator that i want to listen to the guy with no face how can i go viral with this right here hey everybody today i want to talk about health and fitness you should do isometrics uh, two times a week not only isometrics but overcoming isometrics where you're pressing and pulling into an immovable object you can't see my face but it doesn't matter because i have the knowledge of the world and i'm giving it to you for free here on youtube another thing i want to discuss is at some point in time i'm gonna have to start making some money on youtube so that my wife doesn't think I'm crazy by going in our basement and recording YouTube videos for no uh, gain whatsoever to us. You know, at some point in time, I got I to gotta make sure these videos put food on the table. We got hungry mouths to feed here in this household, okay? So I can't just be sitting behind this freaking thing all day making videos, not making any sense to anybody, not making any money either. You know, the worst thing I could possibly do is not make sense and not make money. And I'm hoping to avoid that. All right, that's all I got for today. Over and out.